Hey guys, welcome back to the Kronos YouTube page. So in previous vlogs, we've talked about things like the idea of Kronos, um, song structure and song arrangement, and how we eventually plan to implement guitars and drums onto those songs. But this week, I actually want to show you guys the original project files that I did when I originally wrote the songs about a year and a half, two years ago. So we're actually going to delve into my Mac and have a look at Logic Pro and see some of the uh, multi-tracks that I did when I originally wrote the songs. So we're going to take a look at the layers and um, take a look at the whole arrangement of the songs and how I mix them and things like that. So that's enough talking from me. Let's head on over to the Mac and actually have a look at the song. Hey guys, so this is the track Rage. When I originally wrote this song, I had a much more modest setup than I have right now. Um, I had a really old Macintosh from like 2009, which was very, very clunky. Um, I had no studio monitoring, I had no MIDI controller, so I was working with the absolute bare minimum, the very, very basics. Uh, what you're about to hear is experimentation on my part. Like I said, I'd never delved into this kind of music before, I'd never done anything like this. So I was just sort of throwing ideas at a wall and seeing what would stick. Before we go into the track, I actually wanted to have a quick listen with you guys. So here we go. So as you can hear, there's quite a bit going on in the track, so um, let's delve a little bit deeper, shall we? Okay guys, so first I want to start with the percussion of the track. Uh, for this one I just wanted to start with a basic beat with an open hi-hat on the offbeat. So your standard sort of Streets of Rage sort of groove. Um, it sounds really good, but um, it sound, you know, I thought it sounded quite bland, so I wanted to add something extra to it. So I was just sort of fiddling around with um, Ultra Beat and just came up with a little groove to go over it. Sounds like this. Which sounds really weird on its own, but if you, um, if you put the two together, now have a listen. It just makes everything a bit more interesting, it just makes it uh, groove a lot more. Next I wanted to add something to just sort of carry everything along. Like I say, I was experimenting with this kind of thing, and I was just sort of button mashing if you want, and I found this. That's so weird, isn't it? It's really like distorted at the beginning and then sort of just wobbles. But if you add it with a percussion, it sounds really awesome, check this out. Awesome. I always think the uh, greatest foundation for a song is to always start with the percussion and the bass line. So um, I wanted to find something that was really um, short and punchy sounding. Like I said, I was going for that Streets of Rage vibe. So uh, this is the bass line that I came up with. Like I say, I, heard, I would hear these sort of bass lines and melodies and stuff while I, you know, while I was at work and they were in my head. So uh, let's have a listen to all that together and feel the groove. So now let's look at um, some chords that I actually put into it. Um, I wanted something to sort of uh, resonate throughout the track. Uh, something simple, just something to sort of bounce around. I wanted it to make it... Um, interesting for the listener uh, from a panning perspective so if you had nice headphones on you could hear things sort of flying around everywhere so um, I came up with this I don't know how well you can hear the pan on the video but um, you know it's bouncing from left to right it's all over the place it just sounds really sweet and nice let's put all that stuff together shall we So 
So those chords are very subtle, but they're in there and they're just adding to that sort of texture. So as I was experimenting with uh, using Logic, um, I just wanted to come up with different things. I didn't want it all to just be leads and, you know, bass lines and stuff. I wanted to find weird stuff to put in the music. Um, and I came up with this. It's really cool. It's like a really um, heavily resonating chord. Um, it, it, it just adds this really spacey layer under the track and it's really, really nice. And because of the way it's sort of pulsating, it really adds to the percussion. So if we put it, say, let's put it with the percussion and the bass line and hear how that sounds. Now you can really hear everything uh, building. Uh, from this point I knew I had a really good foundation, so now it's about writing that really um, catchy, hooky lead. I wanted something to, um, you know, attack, I wanted to be something aggressive, but still catchy. So check this out. Yeah, I was really happy with that. Um, but if I put all that together, it still sounded really empty. So I came up with a different lead to go over that as well, but I wanted that to be equally as um, hooky. So have a listen to this. And both of them together. Just adds that real feel you know, over the top of the track. So now we've got the foundation, we've got the leads to go over the top, and let's give that all a listen together. Awesome. And there you have it guys, that's the track Rage. Obviously it's only a small section of the song, we uh, don't want to give away too much too early. Uh, over the next couple of weeks we're going to be showing you how we've added guitar onto the song. Uh, some of the riffs that we've got for the song are so, so awesome. You might have heard a little glimpse of them in the teaser video we put out a couple of weeks ago. Uh, we're also going to be showing you how we've added real sounding drums to the track to give you that real sort of rock punch, you know. Uh, don't forget to leave a like, um, subscribe, we've got loads of content coming out in the future. If you haven't already, go and check out the Chronos Chronicles, uh, there's a link in the description to the playlist of that. The comic book series that we've got going on YouTube now, so uh, if you fancy a laugh, head on over there and have a look at that. Most importantly guys, I want you to comment below, um, I want to know, do you write electronic music? Um, that could be um, gaming music, it could be hip hop, it could be um, electronica, anything like that. I want to know how you go about constructing electronic music. Like I say, it's all learning, it's all new to me still, so um, any helpful tips or anything like that is great. So just leave a comment below, and I'll see you in the next video.